I recently shared a video about how NEO and BYD are now using humanoid-like robots on their factory floors. However, no one had really seen what they were like. Well, this is what they actually look like. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And actually, they look exactly like me. They've basically cloned me. And there's like thousands of electric vikings running around in neo's factory and BYD's factory just doing everything now it's weird i don't know why they chose me i mean i'm a weird looking guy three production lines and the chinese government is pushing robots companies immensely giving them a lot of money as well um, to increase their robotic production but not just to do that but to make their robots better in other words these robots that neo and BYD are using and other car manufacturers apparently as well are going to improve significantly with this huge influx of cash going to these robots makers. China is saying it is racing to take global the global labor market, which is what Tesla wants to do. It's like a race between different companies. They want to have a billion robots, seriously. Um, and yeah, be manufacturing everything worldwide using these robots. Based on its thinking and understanding of humanoid robots, NEO has assembled a humanoid robot squad in 2023, said Yi Peng, the EV maker's head of humanoid robots for intellectual engineering. Yi algorithms using humanoid robots in some quality control process. On the 22nd of February, Hong Kong listed humanoid robot maker UB Tech Robotics shared a video on Weibo, which is obviously Chinese social media, showing its Walker S robot working on an assembly line at a factory at NEO. In the training session, the Walker S utilizes the real-time image capture and transmission capabilities to participate in quality inspections of door locks, seat belts, headlight covers, and can affix vehicle identification according to the video. NEO badly need these robot workers in their factories, badly. And the reason I say this is because NEO's cash is drying up. Investors have been pouring money into the company, but of course, NEO lost 2.9 billion US dollars last year. And investors, I mean, they're yet to see a return. They're wondering if they ever will. This company's been around since 2014. So NEO does need to improve its efficiency in order to try to profit from its EV sales. NEO's vehicles are produced at its F1 and F2 plants in Hefei in, Eastern, in eastern China's Anhui province per cnfpost.com, which were originally the, the assets of its automotive production partner, Anhui Yanghai, or basically JAC. So JAC manufactured NEO's vehicles uh, until NEO actually purchased these facilities from JAC. Both plants have highly automated production lines and seen at post, they say they visited the F1 plant in December of 2020 and the F2 plant after it was finished in November of 2023. NEO, NEO completed the integration of the humanoid that NEO are actually using these robots to also check on their staff. I mean, this, I can't prove this, but I think this is very common in China when I worked in uh, Taiwan and China for a bit. That was something that was done. The supervision was very strict. And you find that, um, you know, the managers wanted everyone to be looked at. You wanted, wanted to check what you were doing. So I think Neo might be using these robots also to check all the processes of all staff to make sure they're all doing everything efficiently, etc. I want to work out what they might be able to improve in a certain staff members, um, possibly in what they're doing in the production line, how to speed things up. And then, you know, how to replace them eventually. Traditional industrial automation in the automotive sector has struggled to address the increased demand for smart manufacturing in automobile, according to Yi. In other words, Neo is saying, at some point in the future, they'll have almost no staff on the floor. They'll just be robots. That makes sense. And I think we all expected this to happen, but maybe just not so quickly. Yi believes it will take a while for humanoid robots to achieve complete widespread adoption, though. Uh, yeah, we'll see. That'll be interesting to see how long it takes. What do you guys think? How long do you think this will take before there's basically no human staff on a floor? Maybe some managers, but other than that, you know, actual production on the production lines. How long do you guys think it'll take before it's, it's just robots doing the actual labor? I don't think it's going to be all that long. The commercialization of humanoid robots in automotive manufacturing driven phase, the overall adoption scale of humanoid robots, including the level of embodied intelligence, will play a decisive role. 
The E says that in automotive manufacturing, logistics handling, parts assembly, quality inspection, and currently more appropriate scenarios for human are currently, these are all currently more appropriate scenarios for humanoid robots. Uh, that covers a lot, right? So basically Neo is saying, yeah, you know, you might work here, but it won't be for long because, well, we need to start making money. Now, I understand where Neo are coming from, um, but this is going to lead to kind of an interesting existential crisis. When robots replace humans, what are we all going to do? Thanks for watching.